So here is the side-by-side -side comparison, true turkey tail and false turkey tail. Again, the false turkey tail is okay, it can be used, but the true turkey tail has the long history of use. We know it has a high level of beta-glucan chitin complex, and we know that it was used for, you know, really probably 2,000 years or, or more, whereas the false one is not, it's perfectly safe, but it's not really worth bothering with. So here is the true turkey tail right here. You can see the zoning. This is a beautiful example right here of why it's called turkey tail and why it's called versicolor, Trimedes versicolor. Trimedes means thin, so it's, the fruiting bodies are fairly thin, and versicolor because you see all these different colors in here, blue and, and tan and buff and, and all these different colors. And here's the bottom right here showing the snow white pore surface. And oh, now here is the false turkey tail and you can see there, there, is, there is zonation here. The caps are a little smaller. Sometimes they get bigger. It's kind of dry here, so they can get bigger. But look up here. This is a really good example. See the zonation? So it does kind of look like true turkey tail. And if they were bigger, you, you might get confused. But then we're going to roll it over here, and you're going to see that they're, they're buffy, buffy orange. See the colors here? And there's no snow white pore surface. So it's easy to tell the true turkey tail from the false. But again, the false is not toxic at all. It's fine, but don't bother with it.